To install an agriculture drone, the following parts are required. Drone frame, spray system, motor seat, control system, power system, and some necessary tools. Accessories welding. Before assembling the drone frame, it's necessary to weld the motors, can hub module, PMU, watt pump, and the camera. Take a motor welding as an example. First, put the motor cables into the plastic pipe and put the heat shrink tube at both ends and use the heat gun to fix it. Then put the plug sheath into the cables. Fix the plug by welding fixture and solder the female header with the cables together. Place node positive and negative. Solder it the remaining plugs in the same way. Install the drone frame. Step 1. Unpack the package. Step 2. Remove the cover and control board. Turn the drone body over, then remove the distribution board cover. Step 3. Install the AS150U cable and holder and fix it on the drone body. Please note the positive and negative. Step 4. Install the power holder. Do not tighten the screws and now. Then restore the cover. Install the frame legs. Step 1. Put the power holder on the frame leg and insert it into the mounting seat and the rear of the drone body. Tighten the leg and all the screws. In this way, install the rest of the frame legs. Step 2. Note that the side with the screw is facing out. Insert the leg support rails and tighten the screws. Install the arm and motors. Step 1. Sleeve the arm tube into the folding part and fix it with screws. Step 2. Install the arm tube clamp and the arm folding place and insert the arm locking cap. Step 3. Install X8 motor seat. Pass the cables through the arm tube into the drone body and fix the motor to avoid falling off. Step 4. Install the arm. The camera is on the nose. From the left to right is M1 to M6. Install CW motors at M2, M4, and M6, and install CCW motors at M1, M3, and M5. Step 5. Install the arms. The screw side faces up. Remove the locking cap. Insert the arm. Make sure the holes are aligned and reach the hole limitation. Fix the plugs. Tighten the locking caps and screws. Then install the rest of the arms. After that, turn the drone body over. Fix the screws. Step 6. Install watt pipe clamps and the M1, M2, M3, M6 arms. Install the tank. Step 1. Assemble the tank accessories. Step 2. Insert the filter and the tank cover into the bottom outlet. Step 3. Install the tank on the frame legs and ensure the tank and the drum body is the same direction. Step 4. Install water pipe clamps on the two front legs of the drone frame. Install the spraying system. Step 1. Install the water pump in the middle of the bottom of the tank. Step 2. Use heat gun to soften the water pipe and connect the inlet of the water pump. The other end connects the L-shaped double pass and cut it to a suitable length. Then use the water pipe to connect the water outlet at the bottom of the tank to the inlet through the follow meter. Step 3. Arrange waterway layout from the water pump outlet through the multiple conversion connections of L-type interface and T-type interface and fix it in the water pipe clamp on the frame legs. If install radar changes the installation position of the water pump, install it at the rear of the tank and the waterway layout is same. After the waterway layout completed, pass the pump's cable through the drum body and insert the distribution board. Step 4. Install the nozzle parts and then place them on the bottom of the M1, M2, M3, M6 arm motors. Fix the screws. Step 5. Connect four extended nozzles and the pneumatic heads by water pipe and the T-type interface. Install radar. Step 1. Install radars. Assemble ground radars and then assemble front and rear obstacle avoidance radar. Step 2. Install the ground radar above the pump. 
Install the rear obstacle avoidance radar below the pump. Then install the front obstacle avoidance radar in front of the tank. Install flight control. Step 1. Use 3 aim glue to fix the main controller in the middle of the board. Note the arrow facing the drum head and insert the M1 to M6 motor signal wires into the corresponding holes of the main controller. Step 2. Fix the PMU. Insert the plug into the power distribution board and insert the signal wire into the power port. Step 3. Fix the receiver at the can hub module. Insert the plug into the distribution board and insert the other end into the flight control can one port. Step 4. Insert the LED cable into the main control board and use 3M glue to fix the LED light to the position of the tail light cover. Step 5. Install GPS on the M1 arm and then insert the GPS cable into the main control. Step 6. Install the camera. Fix it in the drum head. Insert the power cable into the distribution board. Then insert the signal wire into the data transmission port. Step 7. Insert the previously installed flow meter signal wire into the P1 port of the main control. Step 8. The 6P cable of the T12 receiver signal wire insert into the data transmission port. The other end of the C bus wire insert into the main control RC port. Another data wire insert into the link port. Step 9. Fix the RTK. Insert the RTK 5P plug into the RTK FC port. Insert the 2P plug into the main control exit 1. And insert the power cable into the can hub 12 volt port. Insert the previously installed radar signal cable into the CAN bus module through the fan body. Step 10. Install RTK components on the M3 and M6 arms and insert the antenna wheel through the arms into the RTK receiver. M3 wheel into the PRI port and M6 wheel into the SEC port. Then install the antenna protection cover. The last step. Fix the flight control board and the cover to complete all installation. Flight debugging. Step 1. Level the assembled drum. Use the level to adjust the motors and tighten the screws. All six motors need to be leveled to prevent fault during flight. Step 2. Take the drone out door. Test it by the multimeter for short circuit. No beeping sound, indicating that the power plug can be used normally. Then remove the battery board and use the bandage to fix the battery. Then, putting it back on the tank, measure the battery voltage, which is 15.5 voltage, recorded in the remote control voltage calibration later. Step 3. Turn on the remote control and power on. Open the H12 door. Click the Advanced Options. Enter the password. Then click the Adjust Parameters. Channel 1 to 5 don't need debug. Channel 6 to 9 can be customized. Here we set CH6 as the A, CH7 as A, CH8 as B, CH9 as H, and save it. Step 4. Open the Angry Assistant APP Register an account. If already have, directly enter the password to log in. After connected, select H12, click the Start, then click the menu in the upper right corner. Click the RC Calibration and calibrate the up, down, left, and right levers to confirm the joysticks can be used normally. Then click Gate State. Channels can be customized. CH6 set as Back. CH7 set as Pump. CH8 set as Engine. CH9 set as AB. Then save it. And RC mode set as Model 1 and save it. Step 5. Click the second icon on the left. Click Compass Calibration in the Sensor page. Rotate the drum horizontally until the LED light turns green. Erect the drone. Continue to rotate until the LED light flashes. Then put down, power off and on again to complete the calibration. Then set the battery parameter. Select Huang for low voltage protection. Set the first level to 50.4 voltage. 
set the step level to 49 voltage. The mirror VOL inputs the actual voltage previously measured 50.5 voltage. Then spray setting. Set the lift protection to 1. Set work mode and signal pump and save it. The rest parameters and extra mode do not need adjust. Step 6. Click the fourth icon on the left. Enter HHHH for advanced setting. And click the install position if the flight controller is installed in the center of the drum body. Do not need adjust. If on, mirror it by the roller and fill in the numbers. The vertical axis of the machine head is the X axis. The horizontal axis is the Y axis. And the vertical direction is the V axis. The click the flight gate. The second gear set as manual. The third gear set as AB walk. Save it. After setting, test the lever. Next step, click the frame, select the drone frame type. E616P is a 6 axis type. Select the right one and save it. Set sensitivity, click base sensitivity, read and save. At the end, and click the about. Map type. Select Auto Navy Maps in China, Google Maps in other countries, and a Remote Control type set as H12. Spray debugging. Power off. Then unfold the arms. Turn on again. Pour some water into the tank. Test the spraying. Empty the air in the nozzle. Then tighten it. Check if the spray is normal. Flight test. Power off. Install the panels on the motor. Tighten the screws. Note the CCW and CW motors corresponding to the CCW and CW panels. Then power on and test. Dial the levers 45 degree down to the center to the unlock. Turn on the power. Control the right joystick. Turn the lever left. The three motors on the left will stop rotating. Turn the lever right. The three motors on the right will stop rotating. And move forward. The front two motors will stop rotating. Turn backward. The rear two motors stop rotating. After that, turn the left joystick up. The drone will take off. Turn the joystick forward, backward, left and right to test the flight performance. Click the A button to spray. And it can be seen that the drone work normally. Then turn down the left joystick, land the drone. Thus, the agriculture drone has been finished debugging.